been in New York for five years and it's still hard you know it's really unpredictable place to live because one minute you can have you know a really nice like salary job and have a steady source of income and then the next second something happens and it all falls apart or you know you can be kind of like banking on this one certain thing to come through and then you know it doesn't happen or it takes you know two or three times as long to happen as you anticipated and so it's a really really challenging uh, place to get by and support yourself in but there's like for me there's just there's no there's not like an option to not be able to find a way to make it work. You know, I've had to be really creative about ways to get money. I've had so many crazy different jobs, especially the first few years that I was in New York. I was doing all kinds of weird stuff just to just to get by, living in all kinds of weird apartments. I've had so many apartments. I've had, you know, so many different jobs and experienced New York on so many different levels and now I feel like five years in, I'm sort of just barely starting to like get my feet under me to a point where, where I feel a bit more secure. But um, but it's hard, you know. It's it changes constantly, and yeah, it is very expensive. You're constantly surrounded as well by all these other people. Like you know, the the richest people in the world live in New York City, and so there's always this other kind of constant reminder of like. Just when I think I'm, you know, like I'm, I'm doing good things and I'm, I'm really getting there, and then I see, you know, like some billionaires' penthouse. I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm not even close. <laughs> so it's tough, but, but it's cool. There's a lot of other people in New York who are, you know, on the same page who are just hustling and, you know, doing whatever they need to do to, to make it work so they can pursue their dreams in this city. New York is amazing for music. Absolutely love living and working in New York because you just have such a higher concentration of people in a smaller area and so it's much easier to meet people and to and to work with them and collaborate and and be exposed to so many more different things you know in other cities whether they're smaller cities or whether they're cities that are more spread out it's a little bit harder you kind of have to like intentionally seek out certain types of music or certain you know bands that you want to see or producers that you want to work with or musicians that you want to record with or whatever it is you have to kind of be more intentional and seek that out whereas in New York it's really beautiful because I meet people from all over the world constantly who are working on all kinds of different things and it's really inspiring I met you know through a series of events through mutual friends and you know now here we are and we're making all this music together and and it's a similar story for everybody that I work with it's nice to have so many people in such a small space and you're constantly running into each other and I'll go to one bar you know and I you know see five people that I know there and then we go and it's that's that's I think the the best thing and there's so many different kinds of music going on in New York too you have people from all over the world, you know, living on the same block even, you know, you'll hear like six different languages and what's great about that is you have all of the music from all of those different countries and languages that's all happening around you as well. So you're constantly inspired to kind of pull from that and even collaborate and work with those people, which creates a really unique environment for creating a lot of really unique music.